Now let's check it for compliance to some API safety rules taken from those delivered with the Engineering Integrity module. The progress bar will tell us when the check is complete. Note that all the rules relevant to this project have been run automatically by Engineering Integrity's internal configuration. Now that the rules have run, we can select options and then select rule results to see the results of the check. In the header bar at the top left of the screen, there is a drop-down of the available types of rule. We have two types available for this particular check, one showing recommended safety devices and the second set showing safety analysis check. First we'll select the recommended safety device and see the results of this set of rules. We now see a display of the results arranged by plant item tag number. This is the default display and shows only those items which have safety device requirements which are not satisfied by the PNID configuration. These are recorded as fail and marked with a cross. We could display all the results of the rule check and see the cases which satisfy the rules recorded as a pass and marked with a tick. However, the fails are more important so we will return to the display only of fails. Look at the results for T0100. This has failed the requirement that atmospheric pressure vessels must have a flow safety valve fitted in a discharge process line. Because we know from the process information that T0100 is operating at 50 bar, we can see that this requirement doesn't arise, so we want to record instead that T0100 does satisfy the condition. To override it, we click on the drop-down and change the selection from Fail to Pass. Now we must add the reason for the override in the comments box or engineering integrity will not let us proceed. Entering the reason only required on atmospheric pressure vessel, the override is time-stamped and entered into the database automatically with our ID for audit if required in future. Now let's look at another type of rule from the safety analysis checklist rule set which will check that a relief valve set pressure is lower than the maximum working pressure of the vessel it is protecting. To do this, select the safety analysis checklist rule set. Now we can see that T0100 has failed the pressure safety valve check. At the bottom of the screen we can see the rule description and also the actual rule language which has detected that the pressure safety valve will not operate until T0100 has exceeded its maximum working pressure and so could suffer damage. We can see this situation highlighted on the P&I diagram and confirm that the rule has operated. Returning to T0100, we have to rectify this situation but we don't know which condition is incorrect. Is it the relief valve which has been set wrongly or the maximum working pressure of the vessel which has not been updated? We can send an instruction through Smart Plant Process Safety to check that the values of the maximum working pressure and relief pressure be made by control department. To do this we select the rule result again, click on the rule and select Create Action from the drop-down. In the dialog box we can see that most of the information to advise control department of the situation has been populated from the database and we only need to add the action we want them to undertake which we will say is control systems check pressure of PSV100 against vessel T0100 maximum operating pressure. This enters the action directly into the smart plant process safety database where it can be followed up to completion by the smart plant process safety.